What's going on, explorers? Brandon Abandoned, and your man 6'4, exploring third back stickling. I got a very, very cool spot for you guys today. This is a random drive by find, but it's absolutely nuts. This house was a hoarder's house, obviously. You're gonna see that from all the crazy stuff that's in here. It's just packed everywhere. Unfortunately, some of the floors are starting to cave in, so I'm not gonna be able to get around too much, but we're still gonna be able to see from the areas that I can get into. We can overlook those areas from where we are. But some people even put ladders on the roof so that they could get upstairs, but there's a way to get upstairs. I went up and checked it out, but this place is very dangerous, so I'm gonna go slow. I'm gonna be very careful. If I miss stuff, forgive me. Safety first, you know that. Especially since I'm here alone. It's kind of a rainy day. It's that time of year now, so. Also, there's a barn, a giant barn. I haven't even checked it out yet, but from the way the house is, it's probably gonna be nuts. So let's get ready for that. We're gonna do that together. I'm already in here, ducking out of the rain, but Let's start exploring. Let's check this place out. There's a little doorway that we came in. Just a little bit of junk outside. It's a very nice wooden house. It's beautiful. Some chainsaws hanging up. I got a shelf up there. I'm gonna leave my bag here because I'm heavy enough. And like I was saying, this place is starting to fall down in certain areas. So the less weight on me, the better. But very cool. That's just a door. It doesn't lead to nowhere. That's the end of the house. We got a couch, a crazy mirror, bunch of little things everywhere, raccoon cages, things of dirt, some of it looks like cat litter. Also, I'm going to have to probably do a lot of blurring. This place is full of porn DVDs. But they're very, uh, very, like, dangerous, almost, like, bondage-type stuff. Oh, all right, see, I gotta squeeze in. You can't open the door no more. It's a pretty cool painting over there, though. But just check this out. Stuff everywhere. The ceiling's falling down. I'm gonna throw those DVDs on the ground right there. Look at everything. Look at the old lantern up there. That's really cool. Like an old stuffed animal. Some on the roof fell. I'll show you what I'm standing on here. Like two, three feet of garbage. Absolute garbage. But look at the the paint's peeling, the ceiling's down. I think I seen 2000. Well, that's a nice painting. I'm trying to not show the porn that's right below it. See now, I'm gonna walk along here. <laughs> this sketchy board. We'll at least be able to take a peek. Now, I tried to see if there was a basement if I know if there's a basement or not, I'll feel a lot safer with the way that this place is falling down. There's a mirror there. What's going on here? Oh, crap, there is a basement. So I'm going to have to be very careful in those other rooms because I do not want to fall down into the basement I'm starting to see a bunch of things for growing so look at that I can fit in here so we'll check it out just don't want my head to touch that stairs feel 
Okay. Like it's just completely loaded. <laughs> completely loaded. You can't even walk an inch in there. Oh my God. I've never seen a basement so full. Normally when we can't get in them, it's because they're uh, full of water. This one is full of stuff. And this is what I mean here. But I guess with all that stuff, you're not really gonna fall down too far. That's why, oh, sorry. That's why this is as far as the things fell. Because the basement is so packed that there was nowhere for it to fall. That makes me feel a little bit safer. It does actually make me feel a little bit safer. I'll go slow, I'll pan slow. So you could pause. Zoom, there's a TV, we got a couch, a chair, two chairs, three chairs, some clothes baskets, beer cases, lamps, bags of stuffed animals. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. That's cool. Jet helicopter rides, Toronto helicopter, CNE 84. All right. So, we're not gonna crawl over there. It's another really nice painting on the wall, actually. An old baseball glove. A lot of flashlights. Power must have went out a lot up here. And for some reason, you can hear a, uh, a fire alarm, whoa, a fire alarm beeping through. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get too close to where this is falling. I'll be able to show you in there because there's a window, or sorry, a door that we can get to right away. So I can show you that room from, from the window. That's what I mean, right? We might not be able to get into every room, but I'll be able to show you them from the windows, from where we can stand. Look how old this old phone is. That's sweet. There's the fridge. Unfortunately, I won't be able to open it for you guys. I'm sorry about that. A little cup and just crazy cobwebs. Crazy cobwebs. And I'm not gonna pan down because that's where a ton of porn is. <laughs> but here's the stairway. We're gonna get upstairs and check it out. All right, all right. First off, this is really cool. Thumbs up. Trademark, Rigo. What's thumbs up? I've never heard of that before. I thought it was gonna be a Coca-Cola. Nope. Well, stuff on the stairs, I can't walk. Oh, hopefully you didn't see that. All right, so, we got one room this way. There's another bottle of thumbs up right there. Look at that chunk of wood for a table. That's beautiful. All right, so we got books, books and books. Step over here. All right. A real old TV. Nice, and a, uh, I forget what they're called. Oh, it says it right on it, the Viewmaster. Very cool. Again, I'm quite surprised. Yeah. Quite surprised people put ladders on the roof. Two different ladders to get up to a certain area. 
This here is a uh, oh, Toronto Public School report cards. Again, I show that it's from school year 1919. Look at that! That's nuts. 1919. Oh no, 1963 to 1964. That's better. That's cool. Everything in here is very old. I don't want to go rummaging too, too much. Stuff's quite dirty. We've got a couple mattresses. More bottles down here. You're gonna see from one room a whole lot of real nice, real nice old bottles. Here we go. Some old electronics. We'll try to get our way over to that side. Ugh. It almost felt like something was grabbing my foot. That was very, oh, that was weird. That was very weird. If there's anybody here with me, I'm here respectfully documenting the house just to show people what sad situations can happen or sometimes good situations. Please let me let me be here without any any trouble. And for everybody who doesn't know, that's my cell phone. That's my ringtone. It's uh, Joaquin Phoenix and Joker. So I'm going to uh, put that on mute like I normally do. Some real old black and white photos. That one's kind of eerie almost. Uh oh, scary house. That's very cool. Kids with the puppy. Out on the tractor. Babies. More babies. That's a cool picture too. Now over here we've got... Look, there's a date. No, not that I can see. Still got some linens. You get it? Uh, maybe. Maybe I'll get it. Like an old shock matic, I think that said. <laughs> Whoa. It's pretty neat. A whole bunch of old stamps. It's like a whole stamp collection. That's pretty cool. What is that what this is gonna be? Yep. More stamps. That one there says Germany. My hometown. Very cool. What we got in here? Just some old, some old sheets and such. All right. So this area is very cool. Continue our way down the hall. There's another 2000 there. See, this is where I have to be very careful walking through. The camera's not pointed the best, forgive me. I'm 
paying attention to where I'm stepping at the moment. No, we won't be able to get far in here. But we can definitely take a peek all around. It's an old scale. Is there anything in here? Some old socks. It's the best I can close it. More books, real old electronics. Really old electronics in there. Very, very cool. And a lot of these coolers all over the place. I wonder if that has something going on with it. I'm just taking a drink of water. It gets dry in these houses. Ah! He's stepping on top of books, books and garbage. We're obviously not going to be able to open that door. Here we go to bathroom. Definitely wasn't used for a long time. A very, very long time. Whoever lived here drank lots of juice. Lots of juice. A lot more porn in here too, but then tons of tons of books, magazines. And that's one of the windows that somebody had climbed up to. It's crazy. Most of it's porno. And a whole lot of newspapers. I wonder why so many newspapers. That's crazy, but no. I'm almost like very overwhelmed in here. I hope I didn't go too fast. We can always pause it, rewatch it. But was that not very cool? So I'm at the side of the house. I'll show you a little peek over here. Like it's completely fallen down, caving in. There's one of the ladders there to go up. But check this out. Ah. So this is the other side of where the couch and everything was. Not sure if those are other stairs or just another room. I'm thinking just another room. Look at everything here. There's a nice old bottle there. There's the dining table and the chairs. And we got all their bottles. Beautiful glasses. Got a few little knickknack things down here. A ton more bottles. Nice glasses, shot glasses. Very, very cool. More stuff up top. But then down here, 
we've got these DV VHSs, right? Yeah. Star Trek VHSs. But it's that whole box. That whole box. And then this box here. That's cool. A bronze woman statue. A starfish in there for some reason. Is that not cool? Glad we made our way over here. Too bad I can't go a little bit further, but as you can tell, the state of this house is horrible. Even though it can't fall much further because the basement was packed, it's still dangerous. There could be a hole, there could be a gap. Can't risk it. Very cool. Some old metal stuff as well. More dirty magazines. More dirty VHSs. Very cool. So I guess from here, we get to check out the barn. I'm kind of excited. So there's the house there. And here's the barn I was talking about. Looks quite big. The way that that door looks, I don't know if we're going to be able to get in. Uh oh. These stairs might not be strong. Alright, well this side... Just loaded with wood, wooden carpets, nothing too excited. Some old crates, I like those though, especially when they're labeled and got all that cool information on it. The barn had power. So let's see uh, if we can find another way in. So we made our way down to the bottom. Serious. Doesn't want to open for me. That's okay. So got a basket and an old fishing rod. Some old tables, doors, oh, panning up. Old lawnmower that hasn't been used for a while. It's a whole lot of wood. A sign that they sold firewood. Tiles. Another cooler. Bugs flying around. Got a couch. A big freezer. Glass doors. There's tons of different, different weird things. There's no way to get upstairs from in here, I don't see, no. So I'll walk around the other way that I came to get to uh, the barn. And if there happens to be another way we can look in upstairs, I will show you. Alright everybody, what do you guys think about that, eh? Very cool spot, especially for a drive-by spot. I loved it. So much stuff that it was hard to kind of look around and individualize the really cool things on their own but while you are watching this video if you guys notice anything please pause it put a timestamp, comment it let the rest of us know so we can all go back and check it out very cool spot i'm out of breath from the walk around that bar and that grass was so deep and it's just getting wet it's getting thick as you can tell i'm starting to get all damp out now like it subscribe it share it thank you for the comments for the love for the views for all the support brandon abandon and i'll catch you on the next explore Ciao.